International News Today, July 10, 2019 Welcome to the International News Today with the latest world news headlines and stories. To keep updated with the latest news and insights, subscribe and hit the bell notification. Now for the news, Women and Children in Papua New Guinea Massacre at least 24 people are confirmed to have died, in a brutal flare-up of violence between rival tribes over several days in Gila province. Some reports put the death toll higher. PM James Merritt called the news one of the saddest days of my life, promising to track down the perpetrators. It is one of the worst outbreaks of tribal violence in PNG for years. Denmark plans regulation of influencers after online suicide note. Denmark says it plans to regulate popular influencers after an Instagram star posted a suicide note online. The influencer, Phi Larson, posted the note on Instagram, where she has more than 336,000 followers. It remained online for two days before her family managed to take it down. The family confirmed in an Instagram post that she was recovering in hospital. The Minister of Children and Education said influencers must, as other media, have an editorial responsibility. Military build-up in the Gulf The United States hopes to enlist allies, over the next two weeks or so, in a military coalition to safeguard strategic waters off Iran and Yemen where Washington blames Iran and Iran-aligned fighters for attacks, according to the top U.S. general. Cabin crew calls police as drunks cause chaos. Passengers likened a Ryanair flight to a nightclub without the music, after a group of drunken Britons wreaked havoc and vomited in the aisles. The cabin crew were forced to call police after they struggled to control a group of young men behaving like animals on the hellish plane trip from Manchester to Croatia on Saturday. Several were arrested, when the plane landed at its destination in Zadar following the three-and-a-half-hour journey. A video showed the men shouting and chanting on the flight, which had to be delayed. They also drowned out the safety demo. In the footage. One drunk passenger can be seen slumped in his seat, with sick over his clothes and in the aisles, while a grinning friend holds a bill bag for him to throw up into. The clip also shows a female flight attendant arguing with a member of the group, before adding, We've called the police, you're being arrested. Up to 70 passengers on board are thought to have been heading for the Hard Island Festival on the island of Pag off the west coast of Croatia. South African Uber Pavarotti A South African Uber driver who loves belting out areas at full volume for his passengers, has found fame and a career in opera, thanks to a viral video of a performance in his cab. A clip of Menzingoma, singing Verdi's La Donna e Grave, in his taxi in the eastern coast city of Durban was uploaded to Facebook in May, and has had more than 660,000 views. I'm so excited with everything that's happening in my life right now, all the gigs I'm getting, people who recognize me, wanting to take photos with me, the 27-year-old told the BBC. I feel special seeing my face on TV and in newspapers, as well as doing interviews on radio. The taxi driver was filmed by Kim Davy, who was on a business trip from Johannesburg. She said that during her ride with Ngoma, she discovered that he was a self-taught opera singer. Thank you for listening to the Bit Media International News today. To keep updated with the latest world news, subscribe and hit the bell notification. Thank you for joining our community.